Hello, folks. It's me, Jay, from Another Dying. I'm going to play some case of Cud, live on the internet. So uh, you can catch me live on twitch.tv slash another dying. And you can find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash another dying. So it's rather easy. Um, if you don't know me, if you are from Twitch and you don't know me, then um, I'm someone who plays mostly roguelikes and old games and weird stuff on the on the interwebs, on the YouTubes. And uh, I Caves of Cards is kind of my main game, so you can find about 240 episodes or something of me playing Caves of Cards at this point on YouTube. And um, I have decided to take this live, so that should be fun. We're gonna see. Alright, so it's kind of a nice day today, and uh, I intend to... It's a Friday, and the sun is shining, it's supposed to be a nice weekend. So uh, I'm going to play this for a while, and then go out. And uh, yeah, and this is kind of going to be kind of the format that I'm gonna go with for the future. So uh, this stream is going to get sort of... Ch I'm going to probably take breaks and stuff in between. And um, so, and these are going to be natural sort of chop off points for the recorded videos. And then the recorded videos are just going to get uploaded to YouTube. So if you are just on YouTube, nothing really is going to change. The only thing that might be a little different for you is from time to time, I might interact with someone telling me something in the chat. So. But uh, yeah, this probably makes this a little more, I don't know, a little more interactive, you know? It's, I don't know, I, I kind of like doing this because, uh, you know, being all by yourself, recording something, talking into nothing, that can, that can feel kind of isolating, actually. So uh, I, I kind of, I've started to feel really comfortable in streaming and interacting with people directly most of the time that is in any case so what am i going to do i have said that i will probably go with the same kind of character again i'm going to do carbide hand bones again the carbide fists um just because i'm a i'm a comfort animal and uh you know i kind of want to take this character through the game and it's, it's really fun, I don't know. So, the plan is going to be... So this is kind of interesting, because, um, yeah, we're not going to use weapons, right? So we're going to just use our fists, probably. Um, at some point, I with my last character, I kind of had the idea to, at some point, switch to actual cudgels. But uh, when I found the Fullerite Maw, for example, which is a... It's not the best cudgel but it's a higher level cudgel and a two-handed thing. Um, I noticed that it's not that much better. It's, it's a little better in terms of damage, but um, since we can dual wield, we can sort of use both of our fists to punch everything. Um, I think this might actually, it might actually be beneficial to just use the fists. And also um, the penetration seems to scale up with strength. So, and there does not seem, really seem to be a limit to that. Maybe there is, but uh, I have not reached it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to need a lot of strength for this. What we're also going to need, and that's going to be a bit of a problem, because uh, we're also not going to need agility to increase, uh, to actually be able to get the dual wield skills, because um, they are going to be really useful for us. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of skill points that we have to use. So that's going to be interesting. Um, so this is kind of a resource-intensive build, actually. So uh, so we might not be able to actually dive into the full potential of what this can do until very late in the game, until we reach very high levels. And uh, I've not done this yet with this 
character archetype. So uh, I'm kind of interested in doing this. So I think I'm just going to stick with this for a bit and uh, I'm going to do something else at a later point in time. So let's just start and begin the game. What is my name? My name is Joe Schmo. There we go. You embark for the Caves of Curd. Here we go. We are obviously starting in Joppa, as we always do. And uh, let's get our quest going. So I'm in search of work. I am definitely in search of more work. Your thirst is mine. We're not going to do the water ritual yet, because there's not much sense in it. We're starting with a steel mace, because of our class because of the Child of the Hearth class. Uh, I'm going to unequip the Steel Mains. It, there's not much sense in that. We're going to go full-on Carbide Fist as soon as possible. Let's get rid of that. Steel Gauntlets is okay. Um, the thing that was kind of a thing in the last one was that I was very hesitant in terms of uh, just going for armor value. And I think I'm going to be a little more um, fuck it with that now. I'm just going to I'm I'm going to try to make this guy a fortress. So star apple jam, okay, some bent metal sheets, some copper nuggets, a bit of convalescence and honey. Very interesting. No, there's nothing in there. I already know that. Wooden arrow, and that is a grenade, so we already have two grenades that we can give to Argive. That's fantastic, that means we get our first level up immediately. There's a musket, we're just going to equip that for now. Muskets aren't great, but they are a ranged weapon, and ranged weaponry is going to be a thing. Uh, leather armor, that is indeed good. What do we have? We have a leather apron. That is actually exactly the same. We're going to stick with the apron because it's uh, it does not weigh as much. Because we're going high strength, there is not really... So, um, carry capacity is not going to become much of a problem. But, you know? Okay, there's a plastifier bonnet that is uh, worth way too much. I'm probably going to find some of these later. There's a woolly leather armor, which would be a bit better. Weird artifact is it probably going to be a grenade, a MK1 grenade at this stage. So, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> My internet is doing the fun thing again with dropping frames. Awesome. An early desert rifle would be nice, actually. Thing is, early desert rifle is early expensive. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to handle that. Let's get rid of that, of that. I'm going to keep those grenades for now. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of the scrap. It's going to be a while until we get the required tinkering. Let's get rid of this, because it's not worth much. Smolded mushrooms. Um, steel, yeah, the steel mace, we don't need that. Let's get rid of that. We are already starting with a sphere of negative weight. That is very interesting. Cool. So we're going to have two of them. If we actually manage to find the corpse in the, in the tunnels. Well, cool. Yes, it, we will, you will pony up that stuff. Um, telescopic monocle. Somebody recently told me what they do, what this does. I think it assists in um, in examining artifacts. That might be the case. So yeah, let's go to you um, and let's do this immediately. We're just going to give our guy all of our, well, like some of our grenades. Uh, yeah, freeze gas, why not? Freeze gas is probably the best one. Maybe I should have gotten rid of the poison gas. I don't know. I need to actually... I need to get better at that stuff. So, um, planning. Okay, character planning. So, the things we need, definitely, is cudgel. So we're going to max out that tree. I want to get at least a few, a few things here. So, getting agility to 25 is going to be tough. 
so we're maybe not gonna be able to do that uh, i do definitely want to get both of these which means 600 points uh, we need to get agility to 21 to get ambidexterity um this is awesome right like the like getting this up to 75 percent it's fun it's actually fantastic so you hit actually most of the time with your two two hands but um at the very least we need to get ambidexterity uh, so that's 600 points that's a lot that is also a whole bunch of points getting demolished is fucking awesome at some point um what we also need to get is probably bow and rifle or pistols i don't know which i'm going to go for just yet um bow and rifle so the thing is yeah right so with bow and rifle we're probably not going to be able to do the better targeting shots um with pistols we're probably going to get as far as this one maybe we're going to be able to get this arming shot as well i think um i think bow and rifle will probably be be better for this for this guy but yeah that's also going to be a whole bunch of things we're probably going to get the basic skill in bow and rifle relatively fast so that we can actually do some that we have some uh, some means of ranged combat which we that was also a problem with the last character we might get shield some basic shield stuff for bucklers and then there's obviously you know some basic tinkering will probably make sense and all the kind of additional things so as I said this is going to be a resource intensive character we're already calloused so we have the armor value increase here but um, so we don't need to go much into endurance but yeah and obviously cooking and gathering it's very beneficial to get these which is 300 350 points as well we're gonna have we're gonna have stuff to spend points on so um <clears throat> cooking yeah cooking and gathering we can we can get harvestry and butchery from water rituals definitely so that's kind of good and we need charge as well to yeah yeah that's a bunch of stuff let's start with backswing so we hit more often um, and we, oops, jeez, I slammed our guy's wall. I'm uh, slightly sorry about that. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, before we do this, let's go over here and take a look at this thing. Ru Rutoka. This does not seem to be a procedurally generated thing. This seems to be a thing. And it is up here. So here's Sur Camo. And there we will find that thing. We're probably going to do this. I am going to do the uh, the underground waterway right now. Because, you know, let's get Red Rock out of the way. Oops, I totally forgot something. Jeez, good start. We need to talk with this guy. And huh, he says I Taco Suprema. Uh, I'm going to get the Glow Sphere because um, we yeah we're going to get rid of that thing as soon as we can I don't want to rely too much on you know, I don't want to rely too much on bollocks on uh, dear me talking on yeah, I want to get I want to get to dual wielding as fast as possible. What do you have? Slate frog, white brimmed hat, sandals. Um, I think I'm just going to slam you. I'm going to kill you. There we go. Oh, probably. Yeah, we have some fresh water here. Uh, iron longsword. I'm going, just going to get that to sell it. White brimmed hat. Let's equip that right now. The slate frog. We can probably sell sandals. Nothing really of use but uh you know some use and uh yeah let's go down and get this character up to speed okay, there's seed spitting vine we definitely need to get charged as soon as we can punch out the goat 
Ah, the punching thing is so good because, you know, you start out actually being able to deal some damage. You don't need to. Okay. Man. Oops. Yeah, didn't want to do that. What did I have? A rest until... That was the one. <laughs> I played a few other roguelikes recently, and that always fucks up my muscle memory of uh, where to pr which keys to press when. Borderlands Revolver, that's good. Uh, we're going to equip that for equip equip that for now. Shout bows are kind of good in for selling. So 8, 1d8, but you have to reload after every shot. This is 7, 1d6. Let's go with the musket. The re reloading is kind of a kind of a pain. So uh, the Borderlands Revolver is better because you can shoot twice as often, actually. But might as well get used to rifles already. There's no, there's, that's just me being weird. There's no sense in doing that, actually. We, we don't have any skill yet. Picking the Borderlands Revolver would be better. I'm just nonsense. Wooden buckler? Wooden buckler. I think I'm going to wait until I get a steel buckler before I equip one of those. So we're not going to go for proper shields. <laughs> because uh, proper shields... You need to equip them in a hand. So we can only do bucklers. You know? Finding something like Stop Swelling would be really good. Haven't found that in a while. Oops. Rest for a bit. There we go. Need to keep in mind that I am quite fragile, so we only have 26 health right now. That's going to go up dramatically, but you know, level four. There we go. 30. Take the weird artifact. Interesting. What is that? Six pounds. It's an electro. Yeah. Cool. Early electro bow. Fantastic. Mm. Equip that shit. Immediately. I'm not going to say no to an early electro bow. Man. Fantastic. So, yeah. We only have one chem cell. The one that is in it. But, you know, right now the fists are also enough, but uh, because we don't really have to fight any any flying enemies just yet, you know, there's none of that crap. Um, in here, we are just underground for a bit, but uh, it's going to come in handy, and the enemies that are here. are good, are well fought in melee, so... Okay, whoops, not a lot of seed spitting vines. Need to be careful, okay. 10 health left. There's these two guys, and more snap jaws, but we're going to let them come to us slowly. Also, okay, freezing iron short sword, no cell in it, not interested. Uh, let's pick up that, and we can equip the one banoos just because we have nothing in that slot yet. Oops. Oh, yeah, I took out the cell. Did not actually want to do that. Camp cell is very low. Okay, we might actually have to equip the other thing for now until we can get some better stuff. More snap jaws, that is fine. Rest, nah, more snap jaws. Uh, painted hand axe, okay, let's take a good look at that. Kupata, okay. You discover the location of Dukatum Forum. And visit that. We don't know what is there, but uh, we know where it is. So I'm going to, once we are outside again, I'm going to take a good look. Because I want to know. I want to know. All right. Okay, take out that guy. Check out those fools. Fools. Um, Counterweighted iron battle axe. Uh, that increases value a bit. You know what? Let's just take that. 
We are fine. We can carry a lot of stuff. We're not going to run into any problems with carry capacity anytime soon. So, got the neck ring and that. Shot bow is five pounds and probably not worth it. But again, even if we collect all this crap here, we're not going to run into many problems with that. So, we're going to be back in Joppa before we run any anyway close to maxing out our inventory so no worries uh, let's do some automatic exploration engraved leather apron let's take a look at that Kmasp Kmasp is a good name kill that guy wooden tunic I think they aren't really worth anything. Okay, that's it. Let's go down. Go down, I said. Good. Okay. You shot your fellow Snapjaw, my friend. I hope you feel at least slightly bad about it. Yeah, the sh The electro bow, we're, we're not going to be able to use it. So, I'm going to equip the musket. Weird eye. That's the shotgun. Um... White brim tat. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Again, a wooden buckler. Ba -ba Boom. Bronze dagger, centipede, uh, feathered leather apron. Okay. You know what? Feathered leather apron is better than a normal leather apron. So let's just roll with that one. Um, it's just a. It is merely a reputation increase, but you know. better than nothing okay I have not spent anything uh, we're going to put that into strength for now we're probably going to until we get agility to 21 we're probably going to alternate between the two um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get bludgeon Yes, so we can get to dazing. And uh, let's get the conch skill as well. So, conch is gonna be. Yeah, we're going to do charge on two and conch on three. That makes sense. Alright. Uh huh. Nope, nothing there. Oh, it's studded leather armor. That might actually be... It does... You know what? I said I'm going to go full... Full armor value, so... I'm going to stick to that. Uh, we have a bunch of fresh water by now. From water skins that we found. What did you see? Why did you stop? What is this? There's a snap jaw lot that got killed by something. A lacquered leather cap. Equip that. Good. Cloth overalls. Cloth robe. Nah. Okay. Bark armor. I think bark armor is not that great. Painted leather moccasins. Kupata. Alright. I need to start reading that stuff again. That's probably... Probably a lot of stuff added to that. Yes, engraved ring mail. This is... This has the same as the studded leather armor, right? No, you need to stick with the leather armor. Maybe the ring mail weighs less? I don't think so. I should have maybe taken a look at that, but uh, you know, I think we are actually already here. Yes, we are. So let's go north um, and we're going to fully explore everything here yeah, because I do want to find that miner's helmet. That's kind of the earliest, the earliest hands-free light source that we can get. And uh, you know, I'm very much into that hand-free light sourcing. So 
We need that hand for other means. Punching, to be exact. Leather cap, studded leather armor, yeah, no. It's not going to be here. I think it's actually it's actually kind of fixed. I need to I need to actually pay attention where that usually is. Okay, there's a slumberling and an amoeba. We cannot deal with slumberlings yet, so I have to be careful around that guy. As long as the slumberling is actually slumbering, um, we're going to be fine. Thing is, the slumbering slumberling is not slumbering because it got woken up by something, and now it's over here. Sleeps in the water, um, which I can respect, but it's probably uncomfortable. So let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of that cannibal. Let's punch our way through. Okay, there's a bunch of chests here. Two-handed giant centipede. Oh, a bunch of grenades. Okay. Maybe take them apart at some point. Or maybe actually use them at some point, you know? There might be sense in that. Yeah, let's see a slumbering and stop moving. I would too in that case. But uh, yeah, that's that. All right. Ah, there we go. We get to the no worms. So I'm going to slam that guy away until I can destroy the no worm. I'm going to conk you. And get that stuff. Alright, I did not actually conk, by the way. Didn't actually conk. Some furs. Oh no. Famished. Oh yeah. Right. That stuff. Remember? Eating. Eating is fun and good, and you should do it. Properly. Alright. Steel gauntlets, level 6. There we go. Good. Uh, how many? We have 130 skill points. I'm going to I'm going to save them actually up for a bit. Because uh, once we get the... The thing. Once we get the minor helmet. Which we hopefully will get. If not, well, that's that. But uh, if we get that, I actually want to start investing into dual wield. So... I'm just going to save up a few skill points for that. For the first 300 there. Alright, oh, longsword, boarskin gloves. Uh, what do we have here? Painted bronze longsword. Kmasp. It's more Kmasp. All about that Kmasp. You know what? Let's just pick up a bit of crap along the way. That we're going to be able to sell. Uh, by that I don't mean a no worm corpse. Nope, no siree, because that's going to be a bunch of crap that we lug around for no reason at all. Okay, that's all giant centipede and stuff, so not much sense in that. Okay. That stairs up. Interesting. Beat a bracelet, very good. And uh, you know what? Let's rest up. There can always be surprises, like this killipede, for example. Stunned, fantastic, remain stunned, killed. Well, an early killipede is a lot of experience, so that's good. I don't think we have found a. We've found that corpse yet. Oh, Dreadroot Tuber can pick that up. Because, you know, they're good for crafting self injectors. There's another one. Let's get it. Forgot. All about that. I'm just talking and, you know, not actually acting. Which is. sort of. A bad thing, a bad, a bad thing. Uh huh. Cave spider. I think we're done here. Think we're done here. Giant centipede. 
Let me just quickly check the corpses again, but uh, I don't think we have found it yet. Now uh, these are just snap jaws. I'm stuck. Doesn't seem to be anywhere else to explore. Yeah. Maybe in the next one. Maybe it's this one. I don't know. Slam that guy away. Level 7. Yes, 230. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Murdering everything. So, uh, salty water. Yeah, no. Um, what is going on here? That is an engraved bronze dagger. Oh, right. The electro bow is actually worked as a torch. Thank you. Totally forgot about that. Um, so, right. Since we don't need that, let me unequip the glow sphere. And uh, yeah, it totally works. Jeez, I totally forgot that. Thank you, Rajak. In the chat. See, that's why streaming this game is good. Because that would be the thing that you have told me underneath the video and then watched four more videos of me not doing the thing that you just told me. And that is always an unpleasant thing. Let's equip that. Uh, acid gas grenade, okay. Good. Man, that is super convenient. So, yeah. Uh, good. We don't actually need that. Once we get some chem cells going, we're going to have our ranged weapon for the time being, I guess. It's not exactly... Later on you find enough. There we go. There we have it, actually. That's that thing. Good. Um, now we have two spheres of negative weight. And there's all this stuff. That convalescence. Uh -huh, seven. Oh yeah, the credit wedge. All right, this is also right. You always uh, once they revamp that system, we you always find a credit wedge on that guy. Now that's good because I do want to increase that. I do want to increase that credit, that license. Um, so let's rest up. Wireless oh, crab. Okay. Punched. There we go. You know. The last, the last game I played was Dungeon Man's, and uh, there the rest until healed is on R, which is reloading here. So you see me constantly trying to reload, even though it does not make sense. The perils of playing multiple roguelikes. Okay. Now well, we're kind of doing all right. So uh, we're going to get the. We're going to get the the first dual wielding skill at the earliest possible junction. Um, yeah, not that powerful, but pretty accurate and doesn't use that much energy. Indeed. So that was referring to the electro bow. Okay, I think that's a plated no worm. I need to punch you out of the way, to just get you done and get this stuff, bam. Okay, um, yeah, but for the time being the electro bow is going to be fine and uh, once we find better stuff We're also way more likely to find you know floating glow spheres and all this kind of stuff. So um, Yeah, the early electro bow is actually kind of a boon right now You know, we're definitely like I'm not going to choose the Electro Bow over a linear cannon or something like that. Okay. Yeah, that's that. Let's go north. This is actually most that we have to do here, so let's just go... Go north. I'm stunned for the turn. Don't stun me. Um, until we find... The Gershlings. Aha. 
Recover Brinkius Kmaspe Gift. Okay, that is actually a randomly generated artifact, but we don't know where that actually is. That might be... That might be... Because I think the thing was also Kmasp. So that might be where we find the... Oh no. No, forget about it. I, I was talking rubbish. I was talking nonsense. Forget everything I just said. Okay, let's get basic dual wield going. So we have Flurry. Yes, we're going to put Flurry on two. Kong on three. I'm probably going to do Charge on four once we get Charging. And, uh, and we're going to... We're pretty good in terms of... Uh, In terms of melee, I guess. Okay. Yeah, dual fisting the carbide hand bones is uh, pretty sweet. Don't press R. Oh, that's a slux node. Let's kill that immediately. Because uh, that is actually scary. Okay. Rest until healed. There we go. I ran away from the from the fucking dread roof. Bronze dagger, burnt capacitor. I'm just going to pick up a few daggers here because they basically weigh nothing, and you get a bit of water from it. Okay, no worm. Counterweighted iron battle axe. I know what. Why not? <clears throat> All right, boom, boom. What do we have here? Giant centipede. All those gigantic centipedes. Easy enemy, decent early experience. So that's fine. It's just 50, but uh, 50 experience is quite all right at the start. Okay, I never drop anything, so not the most interesting in terms of that stuff, but... Why are they sprinting no worm? Okay. Alright. So, um... Okay, I have to actually kind of suss out how long I'm going to do the videos. This is actually, in terms of the video length I was usually going for, um, this is actually quite long. Um, I need to go to the restroom real fast, so I'm going to stop the recording here uh, for just a minute or two, and uh, I'm going to be back, and uh, we're going to do the next YouTube video after this. See you in a minute.